Hi everyone, welcome back to AfroMD. Today I'm going to be talking about taking the MCAT and some general study tips. So before I dive into the tips, I think it's really important to set yourself up for success. So if you know that you're not really in a place where you're gonna be able to de dedicate significant time to studying for the exam, it might be best to wait um, until you have a time period that you can do that. So in total, um, for studying for the MCAT, um, you're supposed to spend anywhere between 300 and 350 hours studying for the exam. And so as part of that, uh, when I was studying for it, I made the mistake of working full time and I would not advise that. I was studying during the summer and what I should have done is worked part time and studied at the same time because that would have just been much more feasible. So for example, if you divide 300 hours by let's say 10 weeks, and you study um, five days out of the week. That's about six hours a day. So that's basically a full-time job and that's kind of what will put you in the best position to succeed on the exam. So making sure that you have adequate time to study is really important. So next is setting a schedule. So uh, Kaplan has a really good study template actually that I used when I was studying. It's formatted actually for 12 weeks um, and I'll, I'll have the link in um, the description box so you can take a look at it but it's really important to set yourself up for success and part of setting yourself up for success is making a study schedule that you're going to abide by so in on top of making a schedule you also have to practice 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 so part of that is making sure that you take enough practice exams so i took um about seven practice exams and people take anywhere between five to ten practice exams ten is a little excessive actually i would say maybe try to aim for seven or eight and when i took my practice exams was on saturdays typically and they were full length so there were seven hours and i think that really helped me because you know it's kind of like working your muscle being able to take a test of that length is like really really stressful and you need to be able to be prepared to Put yourself in the best position to do that. So I accessed most of my tests from Kaplan because I use the prep course. However, you don't have to. Um, I'm also going to link um, exam crackers um, in my um, description box. They sell um, exam practice exams for um, a, a reasonable amount that you can use to practice. And additionally, the AMC has two um, at least from when I took it, uh, practice tests, um, a, a full length unscored and a full length score that I used for free that I used near the end of my process. And in terms of like taking practice tests, I wouldn't be freaked out by, you know, if you feel like your scores are fluctuating or you feel like you've hit a place where you're stagnant with your exam scores, I wouldn't be too worried about that. I mean, as long as you're continuing to practice, um, you know, and sticking to your schedule, it's something that you know, you're gonna continue to improve, you know, don't freak out. Next, content on the exam. So in terms of the actual content of the exam, there's multiple sites. Uh, one is AAMC Foundations and another is MCAT Review that have every single um, topic that's covered on the MCAT on the exam. So for example, I took Kaplan Prep, but I, I don't necessarily think that it's very necessary for you to like buy a full exam prep course you can make it by yourself i will say that the the nice thing about like princeton review or kaplan is that they keep you on a schedule but it's really not at all necessary you can definitely like prepare for this exam on your own so if you are self-studying i do think it's important to combine like the kaplan exam um like test prep study calendar and also you know, make sure you look at like MCAT review and other sites to make sure that you're covering all the material and you can supplement, you know, if you choose to buy books with like Khan Academy materials and things like that. So after you've, you know, made your own calendar, you've focused on what pace and what order you're gonna take to get through the material. Like I said, it's important to take practice tests every week. So I took about seven practice tests and I did that every Saturday. So I thought it was really important to be able to go over material that you know you didn't get. So I'm just gonna show you a screen recording of a, um, a resource that I used to like keep keep track of the questions that I got wrong. So yeah, this is the uh, MCAT Why Missed It sheet. So on this column, you see the question identifiers specifying what test or what place you got the question from, the question number, so it's easy to find. 
the topics, um, why you got the question wrong. Um, wrong is just wrong. Op is like you, you mixed it up or something. The reason, explaining why you got it wrong. And then a special column to for people like me who sometimes they change their answer from like the right answer to the wrong answer so you can see how many times you do that. So I then had them for each section and I would, after each full length I did, spend time right after I got my score going through each of the questions that I got wrong on the exam and putting them here. Um, and then the next time I would study, because I typically would do my full length exams on Saturday, I would come back on Monday because I took Sunday off and go through the questions I got wrong and use that to really focus uh, time studying. So here it is for biochem and here it is for psych -soch. So next is getting closer to the exam. So as you get closer to the exam, when I was about two weeks out, I turned fully to the AAMC material. So as part of that, they have two uh, practice exams, an unscored and a full, they're both full length. One is unscored and one is scored. And I also did the question packs and that I think was really helpful because that's the material I mean, they are the ones that, you know, make the exam. So their, their questions are the closest that you're going to get to the actual exam material. So it's really important to do that because you want to save that type of material for the end. When it comes time to actually schedule your exam, it's really important to consider when you're going to be applying to medical school. So for example, if you're an undergrad and you're thinking that you want to apply straight through, or even if you're not an undergrad, um, the soonest or like the latest you want to take your MCAT rather is by June or July of that year. So I was taking a gap year, so I chose to take my um, MCAT in September, but you have to keep in mind that you can't take the MCAT all throughout the year. You can only take it from January to September. So again, if you're thinking of applying that calendar year and you haven't taken the MCAT yet, the, the latest I would take it is June, maybe July. Um, and then if you're going to take you know, gap year, you could take it at any period of time. Again, from when I was studying, I thought it was best to, to study over the summer and be able to take it um, because that was when I had the most time because I was still in school when I was studying for the MCAT, but it's really, it's really up to you to decide what, you know, what schedule works best for you. But again, you want to set yourself up to be in a position where you're going to be successful because this exam is really important. So lastly, day of the exam, I, you know, you want to bring food, um, nothing too uh, wild. I brought granola bars. Um, I think I brought like a like a, a small sandwich, but nothing that's going to make you nauseous because at least for me, I get very nervous. So I wasn't trying to eat anything that was going to make me vomit. I also brought Advil because I got a headache like halfway through the exam. So yeah, uh, I, I took some, um, well, sure, pretty sure you can take it. And I took Advil. Um, but yeah, just bring water, stay hydrated. You could take bathroom breaks, you know, in between the sections. So yeah, um, again, all of the materials that I've discussed are going to be linked below. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions and see you later. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.